Welcome back. to touch even a drop of wine since the Yuletide feast. One more A favor I must ask of you. Make no mention that Hafton is ignorant of our plans. It's better this way. Are you mad? Rishir answers to Hafton. You put this man in grave danger if he defies his master's will. Rishier cannot defy orders he has never heard, no? Trust me, I will take the blame should our plan fall apart. Or the wolf kissed and half done's cupbearer. What a curious surprise. I hope the day finds you and Jorvik well. Yes, we scrape by with what little we still own. But this new war should make us wealthy once again until our tribute is taken. I smell the bile on your breath, King. Do not forget who is in charge here. Oh, do remind me, Faravid. Yesterday it was half done. But today, I hear whispers that you are leading the charge. I am confused. Yes, you answer to Hafton. And now, he orders one final strike on the picked stronghold at Magnus. To make war with the North on such a scale will require a hefty amount of silver and a large force of men. My soldiers and silver are pledged already. I expect the same from you. I have given my aid as well. The battle must be decisive. I see. And you have these orders from half done in writing, yes? From the great man himself? Not with us, but you can rest assured Hafton has need of you. He expects a swift victory. I'm sorry, Faravid. But duty compels me to refuse. Without strict orders from Hafton, I will not risk the lives of so many. You deny me? I do. To gift you an army puts my wealth and reputation at risk. That's not what Hafton wants. He needs a strong and loyal king. You presume to know what Hafton wants. Hearsay is not enough. For all I know, this is another of Hafton's tests. The snake in Northumbria that Saxon is. We need his army to take Magnus. And we'll have it if we falsify orders from Hafton ourselves. You would do this? Draw up fake orders and pass them off as real? That's it, and I know just who to speak with. Hjor of Jorvik. He'll know what we need. Good. Hjor's favorite alehouse is nearby. Seek him there. I'm curious on something.
soon then. Guide me. You're just where I hoped you would be. Eivor! Gods! You have come at just the right moment. Right then, watch this! Go home or get hurt, but you won't bother my friends. Don't bother who I please, after I brick your face to the brains! <laughs> Eivor, always the fighter. Thank you, Ulfkist. Those men will wake up soon enough. With greater sense, I hope. What brings you back to Jorvik? Secret errands for Hafton. I need an army of men to face the Picts in the north. Has Hafton planned an attack he cannot afford? That's not like him. To be clear, Faravid made this plan, not Hafton. Does Halstan know of this plan, or...? He doesn't, but he's given me leave to act as I must, for reasons I cannot share. Yes, we've heard the rumors, and all our messages have gone unanswered. Can you aid me with some trickery? Help me forge a set of orders from Halfton himself to force Rishi's cooperation. You'll be taking quite a risk. You have my thanks. We can meet outside the Royal Hall after you have the documents. Join me for a drink. You both seem to have settled well in the city. Yes, we do enjoy the comforts we have here. But I still think about Norway. The cold and the warmth. Stay on the road safe, Eivor. I try to. Yeah, if I'm here, might as well spend some money. Hello, friend. Come see my wares. Made with the finest ingredients. I'm giving you such a good deal. No, a good deal would be less than a dollar per thing. Or a coin per thing. Everyone's charging their coin. Never. Have you looked at everything I have for sale? I'll see you later, friend. Let me miss the upgrade still. Or I upgrade that.
forgery and pray that King Rishia sees nothing amiss. I trust you know what you're doing. Straight from Hafton's hand, as you see. Hmm. Yes. Yes. Well, if Hafton's loyal mules have pledged to fight, still, my help will come at a price. If you're speaking of coin, I remind you that your soldiers are mine. Hafton's, my good man. Hafton's soldiers, for these are Hafton's orders. Correct? But I jest. I jest. All is in order, then. If Hafton commands, I shall raise my feared, and you shall have your fighting army. Good. Get them marching at once. This must happen soon. As soon as they are mustered, Lord Faravid, and no sooner. Eivor, a moment with you? I'll meet you at Stenway. Faravid is Hafton's man. So are the Hemmings of Nottinghamshire, as are we here in Jorvik. But not you. I don't like talk that dances around thorns. <laughs> For whom are you fighting, truly? I fight for myself and my people. As any great leader must. Why ask me of loyalty? What are you seeking? An innocuous question. Loyalty is a word that slides off the lips like honey. Sweet to the taste, but never lingering. There are things simmering in Northumbria, hidden from even you. Take heed and have a care. Ferowitz should be waiting at Stenwyr. One mastery point. What's that? They all increase health. This is melee damage and resistance, range damage, resistance, assassin damage, and evasion. Alright, I'll just start basically spending them in circles. Mastery points, and I already had. I needed one skill point, and therefore I got one mastery. <laughs> After we complete this story arc, we'll go and take out the beasts and sisters. And then I think we'll, and we'll do the one in um, Jotunheim as well. But we'll go back to Asgard eventually. Maybe after we defeat everyone. Captain Yol, will he be here? Where'd you learn to run?
Where are the Saxons? We need them to take the fortress. Patience. Rishi promised an army. What about Jor and Jovina? Luvina is ahead with a dozen of Yorick swords. Come. Our Saxon allies have reached Magnus. We should march. <laughs> know our plan. He'll hear the aftermath soon enough. Stretch your wings, Suman. It will be a good fight. I have faith in it. Federate's plan had better be sound. Battlefield once more, old friend. Yes, my arm. As in days of old. Who are you to speak of the old days? The days when my word was bond. The days when the light of my glory lit the world. How dare you speak of those days as if they meant anything to a traitor like you? Who told you of this? My Saxon vassal is more loyal than any man in my army. Rhysia, that silk-tongued devil. Silk-tongued and loyal to the end, you backstabbing curse. Both of you, traitorous schemers. You're a sick man, Hafton. You see traitors under every couple, behind every tree. A sick man? You deny you went behind my back? Enough bickering, all of you. We are at the edge of war. Preserve your rage for the enemy. Lufina talks sense. We fight this battle and we end this war. At this moment, nothing else matters. Look there. The pigs send a message. Raven Taylor, with me. You will talk them into a surrender with your sword sharp tongue. Well, with that, we'll call it an episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please like. Bye.